A few years ago, wandering around galleries in South Lake Tahoe, I encountered paintings by Michael Goddard, known as the rock star of the art world. He quickly became one of my favorite artists. He's currently the best-selling artist in the U.S., with his works being so fun and appealing to all with his visual presentations. His work is highly collected by movie stars and rock stars, as well as private collectors, but you'll also see his work on cruise ships, hotels, and even on the walls of the Officer's Lounge in the Pentagon. He also designed the cover art for a few Dishwalla albums. His whimsical style, primarily focusing on the life and times of Martini Olives, are fun and lighthearted. A Las Vegas symbol, he has been featured on HBO's Cat House, Chris Angel's Mind Freak, Inked, and several other shows. A documentary about his life won many independent film awards, as well as Goddard's book, Don't Drink and Draw, The Art and Life of Michael Goddard, won Book of the Year. I think what I like most about Goddard's work is the ironic humor. His use of martini olives as doctors, gamblers, and as Chris Angel brings some of Goddard himself into the work. I especially enjoy how Goddard used inspiration from other artists in the direct form, like as Michelangelo painting the Sistine Chapel or Vincent van Gogh. It's a wonderful way to pay homage to art's great masters. On the other hand, some say Michael Goddard is the worst artist in the world, claiming he lacks fundamental art skills. That's the thing about art. It's subjective, and not everyone's going to love it. I think the works of Michael Goddard are iconic. Is he making a grand statement? Maybe not, but his focus on worldly vices are comical and gives people an escape from always trying to figure out the answer.